All right, test number one, I'm building a working Iron Man mask. Here we go. What's up guys? I'm back and we're gonna be building an Iron Man mask, which I didn't even think we could do. So make sure you subscribe, like, and comment your favorite part of the video. Oh, this is the coolest thing I've ever built. Well, in order to start this project, we have to have a 3D printer, a 3D model, and some wiring skills. And thankfully to me, I have a 3D printer. And we're gonna go from there. All right, so as I said before, we need a 3D model, a 3D printer, and wiring skills. The 3D model that I used to print this, I'm gonna attach on the screen right here. These links will also be available in the description below. We also need a hinge kit, which is like for the mechanical moving parts, which we found on Thingiverse, which I'll also put right here. Once you got those, we went ahead and sent it to our Bamboo Lab A1, which is the printer that I use. The filament that I used to print this was Sunloo's PLA filament. I absolutely love Sunloo's PLA filament. It's probably one of my favorites. But once you got that done, we got everything printed, then the fun came in. <laughs> so after we printed it, it's time to sand and prime it. Now there's a lot of layer lines that come with 3D printing. So you have to sand those down or you have to fill it with certain putty, which I did here. I use Bondo glazing and spot putty. So we had to sand it down, prime it, sand it, prime it. And then it was ready for the first coat of paint. Well, Unfortunately, I'm gonna be honest with you guys, it was a fail. I'm really frustrated right now, but I wanted to show you guys what happened. Since it's so hot outside, the heat warped it. And so as it sat outside to dry, it completely warped it. So unfortunately, this was a bust. As you can see, this, this is very high, this little point. It no longer fits right. We're gonna have to start over. But that's okay, it's part of the process. So. We're gonna learn, and I'm gonna keep this on my desk because it, it still looks kind of cool. I like the gray a lot, so here we go. All right, here it is. After like, I wanna say like, it's been about a week because a lot of trial and error. I actually messed up the first print, had to reprint it, paint it, prime it, paint it. It doesn't look as good as you can notice on these areas right here. It's not perfect, but honestly, I like that because it gives it more of the damaged look, which I'm kind of going for. I don't want it to be perfect. I want it to look like it's been through stuff. So we're gonna go ahead. I've gotta go ahead and tape off this area right here where the gray is gonna go and stay. And then we're gonna go ahead Hit it with some of this duplicolor red and also our gold, which is gonna go on our mask and then this little area right here. But I'm gonna go ahead and tape that off. I'm gonna do that off camera because that's so boring and I'm really dreading it. And also what I'm working on is, if you notice why this table is kind of red with this weird stuff all over it, I'm working on a Captain America shield. I don't know which video is gonna be posted first, whether that's that one or this one. So either way, make sure to go check that out and uh, I'll be back in a second. <laughs> there we go. I'll be honest, like throughout the whole process, that is probably like my least favorite thing. So I'm glad I got that out of the way. We're gonna be using this Duplicolor Metal Cast and man, that is dirty. Hold on, sorry about that. But as I said, I'm working on a Captain America shield. And so this is kind of the aftermath of what that is. Um, we're gonna spray with this. And then we actually have, the way that I've learned to do this is I put this on top of this silver, which is just like a normal like Rust-Oleum silver. And then that is actually for my Captain America shield. <laughs> Throw a little hot rod red in there. So after all that trial and error, it's time to wire this thing, which is the fun part. So then I needed to draw a wiring diagram because I have no idea how to do it. Using a screwdriver, let me explain. These are the two servos that we're gonna be using. And these three wires coming out of them are going to all different areas, as you can tell. These two things are the LED eyes, and then they all connect to our Arduino Nano right here, which is a microcontroller that basically allows us to add code to control everything. Now all of these grounds are all connected to our USB battery ground. So as you can see, there's one there, boom, 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 right there. Our positive eyes go straight to pins D3 and D6, and then our positive on our servos go to pin nine and pin 10. And the red wires on this side 
meet at the positive on our USB charger. So I know that's confusing, but we're gonna go ahead and try to figure it out. <laughs> Jarvis, drop my needle. So now we got the painting done and the wiring done, it's time to put it all inside of here. Now I did take a bunch of clips and kind of put them together because it is a very long process in order to do this. But if you guys want a tutorial, subscribe and comment below that you want a tutorial and I will be happy to make you guys an in-depth one on how I did this because it is pretty easy. So if you guys want to build this yourself, make sure to subscribe and ask me for a tutorial and I will make that. But now that we got the paint done, everything is looking pretty good, we're going to go ahead and put everything together and put it inside the helmet. So let's do it. Let me show you guys really quick the wiring on the inside of this mask. So this is what it looks like. We got our Arduino Nano right there. All of those wires are connected just like my diagram. They connect to the servos up there as well as the lights and the eyes right there. And then they all connect to this USB cord right there which powers it. And that brings us here. So let's see if it worked. We gotta plug it in first to our battery pack. To your side. All right, moment of truth. Oh yeah, we did it, let's go. This might be the coolest thing I've ever built. I don't know, we'll see. Well first off, I wanna thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to follow my social media, my TikTok and my Instagram in the description. So make sure to go check those out. You can stay up to date on everything that I'm doing. And I got some cool other projects coming up. Here's a little teaser for my next one. That might be the coolest thing I ever built, so make sure to subscribe, stay tuned for that, and I'll see you guys later.